tell me about the film with Morgan Friedman, since I never saw it. I'm ignorant. Ah, it was a film I did for um, the Canon Films. It was basically, as far as they were concerned, it was a throwaway film because they wanted Christopher Reeve to do uh, Superman 4. And as a payoff, they let him, and he wanted to do this film. He had seen this script. As a payoff, they let him do that. They sent the script to me, and I thought it was really good. some people that I love and uh, like uh, Andre Gregory and, uh, and then uh, this actor came in uh, Morgan Freeman I'd never seen him before and uh, he was very calm very relaxed he just sat there and we had a very nice conversation he was living near me and then all of a sudden he reached down and took a banana out of his bag and I just love that it was a great interview I went home and time, but uh, I had read an actor that I really liked, and I think I wanted to change the, um, the character to uh, accommodate him, because I was thinking of a younger person for that part, and uh, I did, and uh, when the film came out, Pauline Kell, uh, at the top of her review, said, is Morgan Freeman the best actor in America? If you ask me, he's... Yes, one of the best actors in America. Wow. And what's the story about? It's about a, a journalist who uh, keeps being refused stories uh, for a magazine like New York Magazine. And uh, he's trying to pitch some things. And uh, they, they refuse all the things that he pitches. And then he gets an idea about, uh, what about the day-by-day uh, the -day life uh, of a pimp? That's interesting, and, the, and Andre Gregory is the editor, always laughing, and, and uh, they said, yes, we like that. Uh, write the story out, let us know, and he does, and the story is a smash hit, <coughs> and the story is totally made up, but it, it um, resembles many things in the life of the Morgan Freeman character, and he's just being um, indicted for murder. And they, uh, they try to use some legal uh, things, uh, legal processes in, within the film to, uh, and, and this story is part of what, and, and this reporter is part of what they're trying to use to say that he couldn't have been involved in the murder because he was being interviewed by this person at the time that it was uh, happening. So, that, so it goes on that way and he threatens him and it was a, it's a good film. What's your favorite film that you've directed so far? Uh, well, you know, it's tough to say favorite, but I think I have to uh, refer to the one that you're showing tomorrow, because it was my first one. It's like the first time you have a child, and, uh, and it comes out with five fingers on each <laughs> hand, and, uh, you know, you, you just um, like what you see, and, and you use a great love. friends of mine, you know, like my photographs are friends of mine, you know, I, I love seeing them, I love go, going through them, uh, but I think uh, Puzzle, which is based on a um, fairly uh, close uh, friend, and, uh, and it's based on the truth, so it's not all the truth, but it's based on the truth, and I, uh, I wanted to tell that story, and so I, I think that's probably my most intimate film. I love that film. And it was difficult to be taken seriously as a director at that point because you had come from fashion photography, right? Yeah. And it, how did it feel like in 2011 when it opened the Festival of Cannes and it was a tribute to you? Uh, well, you know, uh, a question, when we have a Q&A, people sometimes say, did that film ever make money? I didn't, no, it didn't make any money, but it's been out 40 years and it's still playing, so uh, what can I say? And I love the idea that it's still playing. But, uh, no, it, and it's true, there were, there were critics at the time that would always preface um, uh, fashion photographer turned director, 
and uh, I understand that from my first film. But then the second film I did was The Panic in Needle Park, which uh, had nothing to do with fashion or anything like that. And I'd still get uh, that same uh, headline, uh, fashion photographer Jerry Schatzberg, you know, and, uh, It's ridiculous, yeah. no? it's, It gradually uh, disappeared, though. Yeah, I imagine. By Scarecrow, it was still... Well, Scarecrow, yeah. maybe a few people were still uh, <laughs> mentioning it. And the critic, Michel Simon, yeah. he had like um, a big impact on your career, no? Well, Michel, yeah, Michel had a big impact on my career. The, the, uh, the big impact was, uh, I don't know, you, you know Pierre Rissiano? No. no. Well, Pierre, uh, actually the documentary on him that Todd McCarthy did, but Pierre discovered me, discovered me in San Francisco. Oh, all right, I, I heard that on the... <laughs> The bonus on the DVD. Yeah, and yeah. it was Pierre that uh, saw a puzzle. He didn't want to even go because he said, oh, another fashion photographer doing a film. And he said, well, I'll see five minutes of it. And he was hooked uh, once he saw the five minutes. And then he uh, told Universal that he wanted to represent it. He was a uh, uh, press attaché, along with Bedroom Tabernier, they were partners. And uh, Pierre went back and told Michelle about it. Michelle saw it. He with it, Bertrand saw it, uh, and then sort of, I they called them my French mafia, and they all uh, were very supportive of it, and of course Michelle and I did a book together, we're doing another book now. Really? Yeah. It's, actually it's uh, a book with the same um, theme, it's, uh, the, the original book was uh, published at the time of uh, my exhibition at Centre Pompidou. It was called From Stills to Cinema. And this one's not going to be called that, but it is because the first book only had about half the essays of my films and not nearly uh, a, good re a big representative of my photographs. So this one's going to be a big book and uh, again a retrospective. And Michelle will do the, the rest of the essays of my films. And when's this going to be published? We're, we're in negotiation right now with uh, Carlotta. Carlotta, yeah, the and, distributor. Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. we're negotiating with them. They're gonna. This is gonna be their. It was gonna be their first book, but uh, because we haven't been able to work fast enough, uh, it's gonna be their second book. That's great. Yeah, they're gonna publish an extension of their company. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome.